Hello, my name's Cathy Lett, I'm an author, and I'm also the mother of a boy on the autistic spectrum. And I wrote a book called The Boy Who Fell to Earth, which was inspired by my relationship with my son. And I'll just read an extract from it now. This is when they first get the diagnosis, which I'm sure anyone watching this, you've been through a similar amount of pain and disbelief. Rowan was two when the doctor made his diagnosis. Jeremy and I were sitting side by side in the paediatric wing of the London University College Hospital. Lucy, Jeremy, do sit down. The paediatrician's voice was light and falsely cheery, which was when I knew something was seriously wrong. The word autism slid into me like the sharp, cold edge of a knife. Blood pulsed into my head. Autism is a lifelong developmental disability which affects how a person relates to other people. It's chiefly characterised by an inability to communicate effectively, plus inappropriate or obsessive behaviour. The paediatrician, kind but robust, his white hair floating above him like a cumulus cloud, kept talking, but all I heard were exclamations of protest. Rebuttals clattered through my cranium. Merlin is not autistic, I told the doctor emphatically. He's loving, he's bright, he's my perfect, beautiful, adored baby boy. For the rest of the consultation, I felt I was buckling with pressure, as if I were trying to close a submarine hatch against the weight of the ocean. I glanced through the glass panel at my son in the waiting room playpen. His tangled blonde curls, ruby red mouth and aquamarine eyes were so familiar but this doctor was reducing him to a label. Suddenly Merlin was little more than an envelope with no address. An ache of love squeezed up from my bone marrow and coagulated around my heart. Dust motes danced in the heavy air. The walls, a bilious yellow, looked how I felt. He will have developmental delays, the doctor added. This was a diagnosis which pulled you into the riptide and dragged you down into the dark. You, you can't be sure it's autism, I rallied. I mean, there could be some mistake. You don't know Merlin. He's more than that. My darling son had become a plant in a gloomy room, and it was my job to pull him into the light. <laughs>